Well, since I'm completely trapped inside today, I decided to catch up on my YouTube tags. And I've been tagged by, um, seriously guys, Matt Steele. It's actually seriously Matt Steele. Um, and I don't, I'm not like a huge fan of tags, but I like this one because it's really morbid. And if you guys know me well enough at all, you know that I'm into morbid things. And speaking of morbid, check out this little baby Jesus on a crown pendant that I got on my Mardi Gras cake. I'm thinking about making it into, you know, a hairpiece or something. My little baby Jesus hairpiece. <laughs> the first question is, what kind of serial killer would you be? Um, I think if I was a serial killer, I would probably be a cult leader because I'm at least somewhat charismatic and also because I've been reading a lot about Jonestown lately, and I find it really fascinating. Um, just the whole hive mentality and getting people to agree with you on things that are absolutely crazy, but making them seem like they're not that crazy, and that giving all of your life savings to the USSR is a wonderful idea. So I think I would probably be a cult leader to satiate my vanity, um, my narcissism, and also it's a really easy way to kill a crap load of people at once. But, of course, I wouldn't die. It wouldn't be one of those Jonestown, like, I believe in everything that I'm saying kind of thing. It would be like, I'm gonna tell you a bunch of stuff, and you're gonna believe it, and then I'm gonna make you kill yourselves, and then I'm gonna laugh. All the way to jail. One thing I don't think I could do is I don't think I could actually do the killing myself unless there was some sort of pattern to it and I could ignore the fact that I'm killing human beings and somehow make myself crazy enough to think that I'm just making a pattern and killing people is just part of that pattern. Like, I'm really fascinated by the Zodiac Killer, I'm really fascinated by um, J uh, Jack the Ripper. I've read so many books on Jack the Ripper and just theories about who he actually was and things like that. But it's like, when you get to that point that you're so literally insane that it's like you have to kill these people to satiate um, something larger, something wider in your life. It's really, really fascinating. So I would probably, I, would, I, I might do something like that, except I don't like the whole idea of killing people. I would just want to be so maniacal and charismatic that I would make them kill themselves. Second question is, when you get caught as a serial killer, what method of execution would you pick? That's a hard question. Um, it's hard because I want to die with no pain, but I also want to die in a really badass manner. I don't know, I guess this is, see, if I'm already being caught as a serial killer, so I already have that fame put behind me, I might as well accentuate that fame by picking something like totally outlandish and archaic. And um, I also happen to be really interested in medieval um, torture and death methods. So. I would probably pick something like I would probably pick something like the Iron Maiden and I would make sure that I would make sure that I would die. Like if there's a way that I could guarantee my death and it wouldn't be it wouldn't be too drawn out but just drawn out enough for me to like for me to make some really weird last statements before I die, you know, like little sound bites for the newspapers and, and news um, shows and things like that. That's probably what I would pick, is something like the Iron Maiden, Maiden um, maybe, maybe the rack, that'd be pretty cool, except my back would be broken and that's, that's no good. So yeah, I'd go with the Iron Maiden. Because I'm pretty sure that punctures, like, your liver, your lungs, your kidneys, and, um, 
also, you know, aside from the spikes that are everywhere, oh, your eyeballs. So that's, that's sweet. <laughs> Question number three. Given the choice between everyone in your family dying or everyone else in the world dying, which would you pick? This is a really hard question. Because if I... Because if I kill my family, they'll be mad. But if I kill everybody else in the world, I'm stuck with my family. I don't get along with a lot of people in my family, so... It almost seems like a, it almost seems too easy, but then again not, because then there's people in my family that I really get along with, and I don't want them to die. Plus, what constitutes family? You know, is it like blood relatives? Is it, is it, I mean, could my boyfriend be considered my family at this point? <sighs> oh, man. I would let my family die. Because, because I don't know everybody else in the world yet. Uh, so I would want to, I would want to um, have the chance to meet all of these people. As long as they couldn't find out that I killed my family. Or maybe, maybe that would be better if they knew that I killed my family because then I would be some sort of like weird hero. Like, the girl who, who chose to kill her family to keep the rest of the world alive. See, this is why I would make a good cult leader, because I'm narcissistic. There are some people in my family that if I lost them, I would be devastated. I mean, just flat out devastated. And plus, if, if my boyfriend counts as my family, then I wouldn't have anything to live for, really. So that is hard. So I'll just... Yeah, that's my tentative answer though, is I'll, I'll uh, whack my family to keep everyone else alive. Kind of altruistic, in a way. Okay, question number four. If somebody told you that they were going to give you ten million dollars to kill off the oldest person in your family, would you do it? I honestly don't know who the oldest person in my family is. I just don't. There, I don't, I'm not in contact with some of my family, so I, I really don't know who the oldest one is. But, um, let's just take, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say my grandfather because he's the oldest person in my family that I know is extremely old. Um, so if I was offered that amount of money to, I don't know if I have to kill him myself or just assure that he gets killed. Um, either way, it doesn't matter, I wouldn't take the money. My grandfather is one of the people that I look up to the most, and I would never do that, even if he's the oldest person, and he's even in declining health, I still wouldn't take the money, because my grandpa's awesome. Even though I just contradicted myself, because I just said I would kill off my family to save the rest of the world. Question number five, if you could make one person on YouTube close their account, who would it be? I honestly have no idea. There's really nobody out there that irks me enough that I would make them close their account. I honestly can't think of anybody. I mean, and there's some pretty annoying YouTube users out there. But I, I can't think of anyone that I would make close their account because, I mean, there's a lot of dumb people, but I don't waste my time with them, really. So, those are the answers to those five morbid questions. <laughs> I hope you haven't unsubscribed by now. I'm gonna tag some people. Also, if I don't tag you, f still feel free to do it, because it's a it's a fun little thing. So, um, I'm gonna tag. Of course, I'm gonna I'm gonna tag Jacob, um, Latemway. Tag um, Chaotic Entertainment, Chris, because he's so happy all the time. Let's make him do something morbid. Tag Cat, uh, just another X. I'm gonna tag you because you're an interesting person, so I would be interested to hear what your answers would be. That's all I'm going to tag for now. Feel free to do this if if you want to. Not, you know, just because I didn't tag you doesn't mean anything. I'm still interested to hear any answers to these questions, because they are really interesting. So, hope you had fun with that one.